I'm going to demonstrate how to do the most simple method of magic loop. And when I say simple method of magic loop, I'm referring to a small circumference of knitting with a long circular needle. Um, if you're doing something like uh, knitting a sock in magic loop, there are usually some really specific things that you have to do uh, technique wise with keeping heel stitches in one place and instep stitches in another place that you really want to follow a pattern for something like that if you're not familiar with it. But if the, as the case usually is, you just need to knit a small circumference and you want to use a long circular needle. This is a great technique to know because there will be times where you won't have a tiny circular needle for something in the size you need it and you can pull out 24, 32, or 40 inch circular needles and still get the same results. Let's go ahead and take a look. I have a little bit of knitting here in 2x2 two two rib and it's a small circumference, I guess about the size of a hat, and I'm using 32 inch circular needles. How do I do it? Well, let's take a look. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the work over and just find something that's close to the halfway point. It doesn't have to be perfect, really just anywhere. And then pull the extra cord out there. This is really the starting position for Magic Loop. You have your needles pointing out to the right and extra cord over here to the left. It's amazing how this works, but it does work. I'm going to push the stitches close to the tip of the needle and the working yarn is coming from the back needle. I'm going to pull the back needle long and I'm ready to go. You see I have cord sticking out over here and over here. I have an empty needle in my right hand and I'm ready to work across these stitches. So I'll go ahead and work across these stitches so you can see what happens next when we come to the next bit of cord. And I'm just working knit two, purl two, nothing fancy. You can do fancy stitches on Magic Loop. Okay, you see here, I've just reached the end of this side and I have no more stitches on the needle to work. So when that happens, you turn your work and you get yourself back into the starting position of your needle sticking out on the right and the cord sticking out over here on the left. Then you pull the back cord long and you're ready to go again. You see how simple it really is. Then I'll work across here, get myself in a starting position, pull the back cord long and just keep working without tangles. And that's it. Good luck.